Steve here, and here is another episode of the New Bike Build Series. This is where we take a 2017 BMW S1000RR that I purchased from my good friends here at Sills BMW in their amazing showroom, and we transform this bike into a bike that I'd be proud to ride on the filthy streets. My good buddy, Dominic, is over here installing a Cena 20S into my custom HP4 helmet. Is that giving you troubles there, Dominic? No, we, we, we'll get it knocked out here, Eve. Perfect. He doesn't like to be on camera very much, <laughs> but I do it purposely. But uh, today we're going to install the Power Commander 5 onto your 2017 S1000RR. Now you might be wondering why are we installing a Power Commander 5 when I told you we'd install the Bryn Tooney ECU flash? The reason is Bryn Tooney as of right now does not have um, an ECU flash for the 2017 BMW S1000 RR. Initially when I contacted them and they agreed to supply us with an ECU flash, I thought that we'd be using a 2013 or 14 BMW HP4. At the last minute I decided to purchase a 2017 S1000 instead. So that's what we're doing and that's why we're going to use a Power Commander instead. 2017 S1000 RR is a gorgeous bike. It's coming along very well. Later Joe. We'll see you. Awesome gear. Let's see what the hell Zach's doing in here. Zach, what's up? Hey, what's going on? All right, buddy. Just checking out what we're gonna get ready to install today. Okay. Um, we got picked up another great sponsor in uh, Power Commander, and they were nice enough to send us a Power Commander 5. So they were, that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and put this on since uh, Ren doesn't have his tune together yet. Okay. So I was just checking to see what kind of maps and stuff is available. Looks like we got some for 2016. I think it's gonna be close enough to get us started. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I might make some phone calls, and I got a buddy that has a Dynajet set up. Maybe he'll make us a custom map. But That'll be cool. for today, I think we'll just show how to download. We'll use this Akrapovich slip-on stock air filter map. Okay. Pop it in there and see how it sounds. All right. But uh, for now, let's get the bike, and we'll get this power commander on. You got it. on the bench ready to go. We're still pretty disassembled from last time. Uh, all you would have to do to do the Power Commander is that air filter cover, the two side pieces, and then there's uh, three bolts that hold the tank. One on this side, one on this side, and one right in the middle. Okay. And then you'll disconnect uh, your vent lines. You kind of pick the tank up, put it back in the back mount, and we can disconnect all the hoses and wires. Okay. And then once we're disconnected, we'll just go put this off to the side. So we got the tank off, and now we just got to take the seat cowl off, because this is where the power commander is going to reside. Okay. We're going to just stick it back here in the tail section. Let's open up our box, see what we get. So get the little module, some nice packaging. Cut so we could easily remove it. Wind up with the harness. This just goes to the negative battery cable. Mm -hmm. One of these we pick up uh, throttle position with, one we pick up gear position with. Okay. And then these all piggyback or go in line with the fuel injectors. All right. So that's really the basics of the install. We just need to make it look nice. Okay. Seems simple um, enough. Yeah. They send in uh, some of these T-tap connectors. Usually I wouldn't use these, I'd solder them in. But since we don't know if uh, anyone's going to want to remove this or not, we'll go ahead and just use these so it's temporary. Okay. Alcohol pad to clean for our Velcro. Nice. Some more oh, great sponsor stickers. stickers. Yep, yeah. Got to love the sponsor stickers. And a USB cable to install the mat. Sweet. As long as we have time, I think we'll show you guys how to do that too. Uh, That'll be awesome. Here's the Velcro I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So, now we're good to go. Let's see if we can mock this up. This is going to wind up back here. This is where it was always a little tricky. Because we want to get the wire underneath the mount for this seat. Okay. Otherwise the seat would pinch it every time and Indeed. that'd be bad. So this cover pops up. I think it might give us enough room to seat pass there. It did. It did. Let me click that. We just gotta feed these connectors down through. One at a time works best. How many times have you done this? Uh, I've installed quite a few Power Commanders since mm -hmm. 2010 on the S1000s. Mm -hmm. We've always had good results with them. Yeah. Uh, we 
Even your 2010, that, that one's still running the Power Commander. Yeah. With the map switch. Yep. That, and that's a good running bike. That's strong. Strong yeah. mid-range bike. Yeah. Short exhaust. We need. This was the guy that was giving us trouble. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That way we can keep this nice and tight right along this frame. Gotcha. Yeah, sure. We could have probably just stuck it on the outside here and zip tied it, but this will look much better. Indeed. Okay, so now we just got to locate our uh, throttle position sensor, which I believe is this big connector, and this should be the gear position sensor. It's got three wires. Um, I just got to go to the instructions to see which color wire we need to tap into. Maybe cut back the sheathing a little bit. Okay. And uh, we'll get these two wires connected next. Sweet. So I looked it up. It said we're going to go to the purple-black wire. It looks like there's two of those. Spectacular. Let's okay. see if they get any more detailed. We're just going to cut back this sheathing a little bit. All right. That will give us plenty of room to connect. Oh, okay. Right here we can see this one has a little yellow dot, which is known as a tracer. Okay. So we're not going to use that one. We're just going to use the purple and black. Gotcha. So we'll isolate it by itself. Grab our T connector. Okay. The posi tap, I believe they call them. And then one side of this is real pointy. The other side is a little more dull. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the pointy side in the put the gray part on and then screw the pointy side in and it's going to pierce the wire and that's what gives us our connection. Oh wow. That's why for long term sometimes that piercing in there the wire can spread out so that's why I like to solder it in instead. Okay. We got a nice solid connection. Nice. And that's going to let the power commander know what gear you're in. Okay. Move that over to the side. We'll get a zip tie or some tape on that later. Okay. And let's see which wire we need on our throttle position. Same dance again, just install the gray part over the wire and then pierce it with the, pierce it with the red part. Alright, we should have a good connection there. Plug our connector back in. Now the power commander knows what the throttle position is, very important for it. And we'll move on to the injectors here. Okay. Uh, generally, they go in order, we'll double check. But uh, the stock injector unplugs real easy, there's a metal ring under a metal, metal wire spring piece uh -huh. all you have to do is depress this with your finger and pull back and then our power commander is going to plug in and these are a little tougher to take off you can see the metal piece that they use yeah and you'll just want to push it until you hear an audible click yep. like that so now injector number one is under the control of the power commander. So now we'll just, we gotta make sure that the gas tank isn't gonna crush these. Okay. So wherever there's an opening, we'll put them up there and add a couple of zip ties. Okay. And that is pretty much it for the power commander. We're going to go back, we'll put the Velcro on, Velcro this, add zip ties down the frame, and we'll show you what it looks like all done, I think. Sweet. Oh, it looks like we got some more parts coming via airmail. <laughs> nice. Sweet. <laughs> this is exactly what we were waiting for, What's so we that? can actually finish this video. An awesome Sprint oh, filter. Yeah. Awesome. From, uh, from Brent Tuning. Tuning. So Thank you so much, Brent awesome. Tuning, for the Sprint air filter. We're going to put that in the bike. It's going to be magnificent. So we're done. Uh, routing the wire. You can see it's all nice tucked in. We got all the zip ties in here. The seat doesn't touch this. We got our Velcro installed on the back. Put all the little rubber plugs in. Uh, just give it a quick test. You can turn the key on and we should see that we have power. So that's good. Okay. That most likely means all our connections are correct. We'll check it again on the computer. Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave this like this for now so it's easier to hook up our USB cable on the side. Perfect. And up next we'll pop that sprint air filter in. I just got to grab a socket to get the ECM out of the way. Actually, if you want, you could probably install the air filter. Okay. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. All right, we'll get this screw out of the way. There's this washer on top here, if anyone's doing this themselves. Mm -hmm. Make sure you take that off. It likes to just fall off in random places if oh, you well. don't. Okay. 
want. We'll go ahead and switch here then. All right. Okay, so now gently lift up the ECU. Okay. We'll just kind of lift back. That You might have to disconnect that. Yep, just I pop see. that hose out of there. Nice. Okay. All right, what we're going to be working with is underneath. So flip it back as far as you can. There you go. There That's go. good. I'll keep it's a hand on there. Yeah. All right, I'll grab you a little tool for removing that push pin. Okay. See how there's little cutouts in the side? Yes. Here, I got the ECU. Thank you. Hold it straight up and then just pinch it. Okay. Like so? Yeah. Flip them around 180 degrees, actually. Okay. Flip the pliers around. Oh. 180. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Pinch it and then lift up. Okay. I think you're under you're too far underneath. Okay. You want to go in the middle there. Gotcha. There you go. There we go. Alright. Nice. Now I can pull it out. Yep, pull it out. Sweet. And put that off to the side. Okay. And put those players off to the side. Okay. Now that front piece that you just pulled that clip out of that just gonna lift up out of there. Okay. That whole plastic piece. There you go. Sweet. Okay, put that off to the side. Okay. Pop those two clips, just lift back up on them. Okay, now pull the air filter and that cage forward. Okay. So get the orange part so you can see the back of the orange part. Gotcha. There you go. It's a little tight because of that hose, but it'll yeah. come. Okay, once you get clear of it, then start picking up. Okay. And you'll get the air filter and that piece all at the same time. Got it. Nice. Got it. Nice and clean. Oh, yeah, that looks great. What's the front side look like? That's usually a bug collector. Huh? Mm -hmm. Guess we were uh, not in any bug zones. <laughs> no. All right, well, we'll pop that back in the package. Okay. Um, so this comes out. And yep, go ahead, open filter. up the sprint. Okay. Supplied to us by our good friends at Brent Tuning. I've been working with them since 2010. They're outstanding human beings. A great company to deal with. Should be wrapped inside a bag. Oh, we got a air temp kit too. Excellent. Oh, sweet. Okay. Bonus. Yeah. So you're going to install that off camera, eh? Uh, or, or we'll see. Okay. We'll see what uh, time permits. Ooh, look. Oh, nice. Cool. Any other uh, surprises in there? Uh, we got uh, more stickers. <laughs> more stickers. Awesome. Sweet. And uh, that's about it. Okay. Huh? More? Stickers. More stickers. We're going to have quite the uh, sponsor kit together here. Heck yeah. We'll have to put them all in a bag for the person. And here's our new filter. Now, do we have to spray this with any sort of chemical? We don't. That's why it's wrapped in a bag like that. It's already prepped, okay. ready to go. Should just kind of peel. There, there you go. Oh Let's boy. take a look. Uh, hold that up to the light. Look how we can see. You can see the light through that filter. Yeah. So that's how much more air is now going to get into your motorcycle. But they found a way that it also traps the same amount of dirt. Wow. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. So I've got my casing. Yep. And uh, which side's the front, which side's the back? Okay, so just like how your stock one, hang on, I'm having but, camera difficulties. Okay. It doesn't want to stay. Okay. All right. So just like your stock one was in, remember you just saw that trim part? Mm -hmm. So put that in so you only see the trim. I'll hold this out of the way for you. Make sure this hose over here is on the outside of the cage. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and slide it on it. Like so? Like so. And that one clip's already in the right position even. You put that there. Yep. Flip it forward. Okay. So now we'll come back over to the bike here. Stick this one in first. Yeah, put that part in. Lock it. Yep. And now push that in, and that's what's going to lock it. You should hear it kind of click. Perfect. There. All right. Give me my camera back. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You stick to that. I'll stick to this. Hey, you Jeez. got it in. That's actually pretty tricky. <sighs> wow. Sometimes that plastic doesn't like to fit. Nice. So we'll just mount the ECM back up. Guys, uh, Zach makes this stuff look really easy. It's really not, at least to me. Gosh. Kropovich stock air filter because that's all we have to choose from. Okay. So we're just going to download. So now we can save our map. We're going to save as, that way I know where it's going to put it. So I believe we are installed. I don't know if we get a throttle position. Yeah, we, yeah did. we do. Nice. So we know we got that wire correct. It's always a nice check. Mm hmm. And then we can go ahead and fire it up and see if we get the rest of the info. We should get RPM and I don't know that we'll get gear. Yeah, Looks like it must have some kind of map on it because you could see the fuel adjust was uh, trimming some fuel out. Okay. Uh, with this program, you can look at the map that's on here. Yeah, so it has something on it. This is the RPM. This is the throttle percentage. If it's a minus, that means it made it leaner. Mm -hmm. If it's zero, it stayed the same. And if it was a plus number, that means it made it richer. You can see we got a bunch of maps in here for other stuff. Yep. But this is the one that we wanted, that M12 one. I'm going to push open. Send map. Send map to the. Nice. Send it over. You can see it changed a couple of numbers. We had a lot more pluses here, actually. Wow. Those mm -hmm. were all minuses on that map that was in there. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what we get. And but that's basically we just wanted to show you how to do it. Like I said, I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna be able to get this to a buddy of mine. He's gonna make us a custom map. That'd I don't know if awesome. we're gonna be able to show it or not, but okay. It'll at least be on there. We could show how it changed if anyone wants to see that. That'll be sweet. And then we'll take it back to Northern Ohio Ducati and put it on the dyno and see how much horsepower uh, it makes since installing all these custom parts. Yeah. But for now, I think uh, we're good to go. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll get that map made. I'll, I'll get that uh, intake air temp sensor relocator in. Yep. So the reason for that is the intake air temp sensor is buried under here behind this ECU that we had off. Okay. So it gets real hot down there and it gets what's called heat soak. So then it's telling the engine that the intake air temp is like 200 degrees. Well, it's not 200 degrees outside, it's 70. Right. So we're gonna move it up here where it can actually say it's 70 degrees all the time. And it just keeps your power more consistent, especially on hot days. Awesome, man. All Sweet. Right. And that was sent to us as well, courtesy of Brent Tuning. And so was the Sprint air filter. We wanna thank them so much for contributing to this project. And that'll be it. Zach will get the bike wrapped up and we'll kick it outside. And that concludes today's video. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for all the positive comments. Love yeah. to see them. Yeah. Makes it worth doing it. We'll catch you next time. Later, Zach. Thanks, man. Outstanding. So Zach just installed the power commander, the sprint air filter, and we are going to put a custom map on this bike once one of Zach's good buddies does a custom tune for us. And then I'm going to take this bike back to Northern Ohio Ducati and put it on the dyno, and we'll see the change in horsepower and torque after we installed all of these amazing parts onto your 2017 S1000RR. I'd like to personally thank each and every one of our Patreon supporters for helping us do this build series. Um, it's been a great experience and hopefully we'll be able to do this for many, many, many more seasons. So hit that like button if you like this video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe. New videos are always uploaded to my channel. Stay tuned for more and as always, thanks for viewing. We will catch you next time from Sills BMW.